हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू हैव बीन एन्जॉइंग ऑल द ट्रिक्स फ्रॉम वन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव विच आई हैव बीन पोस्टिंग एंड पब्लिशिंग फॉर यू इंक्लूडिंग द ट्रिक्स विच आर गिवन इन मेंटल मैथ्स बुक्स एंड वैदिक मैथ्स बुक्स ऑल्सो नाउ फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल बी पोस्टिंग सम वीडियोज विच आर एक्चुअली यूजफुल इन बिल्डिंग ए वेरी गुड मैथमेटिकल एप्टीट्यूड right from childhood now all the videos which i will be publishing from now on will be beneficial for parents to nurture their children well so that they don't face problems in later half of their lives when they have to struggle uh, and compete among so many people so in this series today i am going to deal with some basic multiplications and how these multiplications can be done in the mind without use of pen and paper and when the students speak these calculations in their mind the way in which they have to tell themselves what they are reading is very very important now suppose we take the example of multiplication of numbers by 2 4 8 and so on now if i say to a student then that you have to multiply 739 by 2 obviously he will start 739 by 2 like this and he will multiply it like this but what if the same thing is told to the student in a different manner like you say to the student that you have to double 739 and not multiply 739 by 2 so the entire outlook of the calculation changes so it is our thought process it is the way we speak in our mind it is the way we present that particular calculation in our mind which brings out the desired step so i appeal to the teachers especially mathematics teachers to present the calculations before the students in such a way that they do it orally and they do not rely on traditional methods and pen and paper for solving that so 80% of the students multiply by 2 multiply by 4 and multiply by 8 using pen and paper and using traditional methods but i will just present to you today some examples why we don't need pen and paper to multiply numbers by 2 4 and 8 just by saying to ourselves that this is not a calculation it is just a way of thinking so i am taking the first example now a very very simple example say i have to multiply 24 by 2 now this is a very basic calculation uh, which say um 9 plus age students will do it orally but what about the students who are uh, just starting their school education can they do it orally if they can do it orally then until they reach the age of 10 years they will have so many new shortcuts new things with them which will make them resourceful enough so if we say multiply 24 by 2 then it is a calculation which has to be written and multiplied but if we say double of 24 then it is very easy and when you speak numbers in your mind then you don't speak numbers all together like i don't say to myself it is 24 i call it as 24 just give a slight pause between the two 24 and that solves our, our problem of doubling if i call it 24 and i double it 48 so my answer is 48 so multiplication by 2 is nothing it can be done orally mentally just by speaking the exact number in a different manner i'll give you some more examples of this suppose another number is a larger number 73 don't call it 73 and don't start doing 73 multiplied by 2 like this just call it 73 and double 146 is 146 it gets multiplied by 2 automatically and you don't have to write these steps this is all done in mind and once you have that 
particular kind of thinking towards the numbers then i think you can work out wonders in mathematics i'll give you one more larger example say we have 2342 multiplied by 2 now this is this makes a bit uh, things a bit complicated now now i call it 2342 and i double it 4684 is the answer and i don't have to write the steps again i am reiterating the same thing again and again that this method is not long you don't have to write all these steps it is mental mathematics mental mathematics is done in mind and you are arriving at the answer directly just by speaking the number in a right manner so another example see 739 multiplied by 2 just call it 700 39 double 1460 18 now 60 and 18 is 78 1478 1478 is answer that's all so don't multiply by 2 students especially you your thinking is what matters in mental mathematics i am stressing on this point when you speak the numbers speak it by giving a pause so that whenever you multiply you don't actually multiply them you know the meaning of what is done when we have to multiply numbers by 2 it is just doubling of numbers now this method now suppose i have 315 into 2 you can call it 310 5 and arrive at the result 600 20 10 this is 30 so 630 or you can break it further when you know a method you can experiment with the method also like you can call it 310 5 so 620 10 so 630 so you can break the number as per your convenience your thinking now similar observations can be made when you are multiplying numbers by 4 i'll just rub this off now when you have to multiply by 4 then do not call it as multiplying by 4 if you say to yourself that you have to multiply a big number by 4 then you are putting stress on your mind you are telling yourself that you have to pick up the pen and paper and start doing a calculation but when you say you have to double twice you have to double the number twice then it becomes far more easier to perform that calculation within your mind i'll give you an example of say multiplying say 26 by 4 now small children when they are given this calculation they start off with the traditional method they try 26 like this and put a multiplication sign then carry on the single digit multiplication and subsequent addition now when you have to multiply by 4 then do not multiply by 4 just tell to yourself that you have to double the number twice and for doubling i have told you one rule of mental mental mathematics that you have to speak the number in a manner in which you can double it very easily so 26 is 40 12 52 52 is 50 and 2 so 104 that's all your answer is 104 this multiplied by this is 104 isn't that wonderful just by speaking just by having a little positive attitude towards the numbers bringing it to your mind in a positive manner will work out wonders for your calculation skills your mental skills another example for uh, say multiplication by 4 i say you have to multiply 300 234 by 4 now do not say please teachers kindly pay attention do not say to your students that multiply 234 by 4 tell them to double it twice and tell them what is the exact manner in which the numbers are to be doubled so 234 into 4 is 234 double it 468 you can do it like this 
or you can break 34 further into 30 and 4. That depends on the level of skill you have already achieved. If you have achieved a particular part of skill, then you can proceed with the next level. So 468, this is double of 234, that means I have multiplied the number by 2. Now I will double it again, 468, 800, 120, 16, 800, 136, 936. So your answer for 234 into 4 is 936. See? This is how we gain momentum in mathematics. This is how we have to teach our children to present mathematics before them as a simple subject and not as a complex subject in which lot of paperwork is there, lot of skills are required and a single mistake can hamper all your progress in mathematics. You can generalize this result of multiplication by 2 and multiplication by 4 to multiplication by 8 also where multiply by 8 becomes multiply by 2 into 2 into 2 that means you have to double the number 3 times so in competitive exams when there is a calculation involving multiplication by 8 you don't actually have to use your pen and paper to carry out that calculation see I'll give you one example say we have to multiply 13 by 8 so 13 double, 26, 26 double, 52, 52 double, 104. That's all. The answer of 13 into 8 is 104. This is how mental maths works. This is just the beginning, friends. There are lots and lots of methods to come. Keep viewing the channel. Keep learning. Keep enjoying. Tell your children that maths is not a tough subject. If dealt properly, it can work out wonders for your confidence. And enhance your progress in other subjects as well so keep sharing subscribe the channel and suggest to your friends if you like it